MaxMovementProfessional.com. So this is uh, an exercise called the banded tallow curl anterior posterior mobilization using a heel raise. All right, so we're going to uh, use one of three bands here. I'm gonna use the green band, which is the thickest band. Um, the thickest band tends to give you more of a sense of mobilization or movement of the joint from a front to back position and also just a stabilizing force. Uh, a lot of times this exercise will be used if the ankle just feels like it's not in the right position, you know, for whatever reason in standing or when you're doing different exercises. Um, and it just gives a, a better sense of stability when you have a little thicker band. Oftentimes the progression is to actually to move from a thicker band to a thinner band uh, with out provocation of symptoms just so it feels more normal like you don't need the band anymore and that the ankles feel symmetrical side to side and, and well stabilized so I'm going to show it with the green now the other thing is with the thickness of the band it also makes it harder to balance so you're going to want to use some walking sticks or uh, some things to hold on to um, for balance all right so we'll start by putting the green band right in the ankle crease so where you have the ankle bones here, you should be about halfway down and then the bottom part of the band should be on the top of the foot. And then you're just going to try to move forward away from the pole here so you get a better pull in a front to back motion. All right, then we're going to bring the feet together and let's get the standing position set first. So inner thighs zipped up, glutes are on, ascend the pelvic floor, draw up. All right, so you're basically feeling like you're taking the weight from your feet and bringing it up into your middle. All right, make sure that the knees don't bend so the quads are lightly tensed. And then we're gonna to try to keep the heels together and go up into a heel raise using the walking stick for balance at first. Heels stay together and try to really focus on the inside part of the foot. So the ball of the big toe has to make contact as opposed to moving out to the pinky side of the foot. And we're gonna hang out here for about 10 seconds, feeling all those things, kind of doing a little body scan. Do you still have the glutes on in your thighs? pelvic floor, are the knees wanting to bend, are you wanting to move to the outer edge of the feet and the heels coming apart. And then when you come down, it's really important to move down slowly. So really appreciate the negative. That's where the band's gonna really kind of mobilize the joint the most. And then you get back down to heels and repeat. Up, get as high as you can. Trying to focus on all of those areas. So. The core will tend to, or like the lower part of the abdominals will tend to engage if you can ascend that pelvic floor properly, get the glutes on, inner thighs on, quads on, heels stay together, and then lower back down. To intensify this a little bit, especially on the way down, we can use a pad with a kettlebell just to hold it down. Bring that a little closer. so that we get a little bit more of an ankle dorsiflexion on the way down. Okay, so if I put my foot here, I'm gonna get a little bit more dorsiflexion stretch. So I'll come up, it's also an unstable surface, so now I have to fight a little bit harder for balance. That's why I got the walking sticks hanging out there, slowly coming down. I feel a little extra stretch now into dorsiflexion. So it helps me improve my ankle dorsiflexion while at the same time stabilizing me at the ankle joint. So I'm getting stabilized when I'm up into plantar flexion here and I'm using my hips core to also help stabilize the ankle and then come back down. So after about five of these, you should start feeling a lot of work happening in a lot of different muscles, maybe the bottom of the foot, maybe the calves, glutes, inner thighs, all those areas. So 10 second hold, five times, you don't need to do much more than that. You can do less if it feels intense, all right? So that is the uh, banded tallow curl joint anterior posterior mobilization. If you have any questions, you can go to movementprofessional.com. We'll see you next time.